Hello and welcome to the World's RV Show going on at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. My name is Donnie O'Banion and today I'm being joined by Mike Bear, who is the general manager of the Coachman Class C RV division. And Mike has been nice enough not only to join us here at the World's RV Show today, but actually take some time to give us some insight into Coachman RV and show us around his all new 2015 model Concorde, which uh, as you know has been one of the most popular makes and models of motorhomes sold here for five years running Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yep. Mike, thanks so much for being here. You bet. We really My appreciate pleasure. it. Uh, the Concorde that we have here today is a 300 TS Concorde. Uh, a couple things that we probably should point out to you. It's available neither in the, in the uh, E45 chassis or the 4500 from the Chevy chassis. Okay. Uh, primarily in the bigger coach. We, we sold more, to, of course, in Texas on the E45 than anything else. Okay. Every coach that we do is uh, cut and stretched. Um, basically, we're the only people in Elkhart County that do our own our own uh, cutting and stretching. Uh, every every chassis that comes in for the Ford, you know, for the most part, for industry, it's going to come in on one on a 158 wheelbase, okay. or if it's a Chevy, it's a 159. So anything that's other than that has has been modified in some way by by a by a manufacturer. Okay. Uh, we are QVM certified by Ford. We are are we rank one of the highest. Um, converter scores in the industry, and we have for years and years and years. Something we've really prided ourselves in. And what QVM means to your customer, and what it means to you as a dealer, is the when we stretch the chassis, when we do the things we need to do, basically we're doing according to Ford specs. We are replacing those pieces and parts with Ford OEM parts from those suppliers. Okay. Uh, we, have, uh, we have inspections, we have we're code compliant. Um, basically, there's a book about yay thick of all the different things you have to do in order to be QVM compliant with, with Ford. And uh, we've always done very well in, in, our, in our ranking and our scoring. Um, so if you take a, a coach like this when it comes in, basically, if you've never seen one, the, the cab will come in with, without a back. So basically, you have a, a grippy go piece of plastic across the back of the cutaway with a couple wheels and a frame. And from then, it'll go onto a, onto a magna cutter that will, it's a very low heat that'll cut that chassis. And if you could take a look at the chassis itself, there's hundreds of little specks and knobs and, and slots in it. And what that is, is Ford will make, um, for their customers, like us, they'll make accommodations in their rails in order to have everything to line up right, whether it's an ambulance or a motorhome right. or a cube truck. And every different bodybuilder has a different set of specs and different set of needs, you know, so they'll accommodate that for us. So anyhow, so we'll, we'll put the chassis in, we'll go ahead and, and stretch or not stretch it, depending on what it is. This, this has a, a small stretch. Okay. And then what we'll do from there is basically from a construction standpoint, it'll start up the floors. So we also are one of the few manufacturing companies to do their own in-house lamination. So whether you're talking about a Concorde or you're talking about a Freelander, all of our products, there's, there are some universal things that we do and we, we think we do well. Every coaching product has a steel frame floor. So what you'll find is going around the outside perimeter of that floor, there's an inch and a half tubular, tubular steel frame that's packed with high density foam, has two pieces of phenolic luon that are offset, all, all laminated with a galvanized underbelly. Okay. So, so from a durability standpoint, obviously for walking, use, that kind of thing, it's a great foundation, but really more from a safety standpoint, because if you are in a situation where you have a, a side crash on, you know, God forbid, or a problem right. like that, you know, you have, you have that steel that's actually protection for your family, which really isn't found in many motorhomes today. Uh, every, every seating area that we have in our coaches is mounted into steel. You'll find that we have more seat belts than really any manufacturer. Uh, a seat belt is worth X amount of pounds. So there's kind of this balancing act that you, that you go back and forth with as far as what your capacities are, how many seat belts you can actually have. Right. But I will tell you that anytime we have a new floor plan or a new module, uh, we do seat belt testing. So it's really our intention to put your family and our families out in the safest of motorhomes we possibly can. Okay, let's talk for a minute about this transition area here between the cab and the box itself. Okay. Okay, one of the things that you'll find with the Coachman product is that we have, we use a product called Will Seal. It's basically a closed cell foam that basically is your, is your sound barrier and your weather barrier between the actual cab and, and the actual box, if you would, in the back of the motorhome. This part of the motorhome, no matter whose it is, how it's going, is always moving. So what we've done is we found a, so really the difference between a closed cell and open cell foam, if you take a sponge, you put it in water and you squeeze it, that, that's, that's an open, that's a open cell foam that'll hold water. What this will do, it, it's a, it's a treated foam that basically if you did the same thing, you put it in water and squeeze it, it's just wet. Okay. It also has a, a 100% memory. So if you take this piece of foam out and, and park a semi truck on it for a week or two, okay, and you take it off at the end of that week, it'll always come back to its original size. 
So as you get shifting and moving and those type of dynamics that happen when you take a house and take it down the road, sure. this is sure. one. This is an ideal seal that we've used now for about the last 15 years. It's, it's worked wow. quite well for us. You know, so we're talking about this area here. Of course, we have the front caps, front transition pieces. These are all molded fiberglass that we're buying from uh, different suppliers and installing online. And then when, as that all meets in together, it meets into your sidewalls, your roof, and of course your slide rooms. Probably while we're talking a little bit about the, uh, the slide rooms, because we're right here, you'll notice we use a little bit different type of slide mechanism here called a Schwintech. And really what the Schwintech does for you, it gives you a positive seal when the room comes in or out. If you take a look at some competitive slides, and especially even our slide rooms that were four and five years ago, you, you depended on the weight of the room to tip. So if you walk, if you look at a motorhome and, and that room is going out, you always notice it's almost like a fulcrum. And as that comes back, and the, you'll see that room move, the weight of that room is, is the only thing you have that seals the top of the coach. Same thing when it comes back in. On the older slide rooms, you'll see it come back in, then you'll see it tip back in again. Right. So you're totally dependent on, on that, on that on that balance, if you would, to make that room seal. And what happens if your customer isn't exactly level, if there are debris, any of those types of things, then it can develop into a leak. Right. With the Schwintech system, what you have is that, especially in the shorter slides where there's less weight, that gives you a positive latch at the top and the bottom. So when it's pulling in, it pulls that room in completely even and level. As it goes out, it pushes out even and level. It really makes for a much better experience for the customer. Um, Saved us a lot of hassles here over the last four or five years. Big improvement. Absolutely. And really what we're doing here too then is we're all matching this. Like in the Concord, if you notice, the Concord does have a radius wall. It is our only product that does have a radius wall at this point. But our wall construction on the Concord is really a lot like, but it's a, really the same construction as all of our products. What you're going to have is you're going to have an interior wall board. You're going to have an aluminum frame. Okay, so you're going to have basically a, a, a heliarch wall to aluminum frame, not stapled. That's packed with high density foam. And then what you're going to have is an outside layer of fiberglass that's laminated to Asdale. Um, Asdale is really a, kind of a neat, a neat product. It is a, uh, it is a composite. It doesn't rot. It holds a glue line better than what wood does. A lot of our competitors are still using Luon, right. uh, which, which is not as, as uh, sturdy as a product. But the real advantage of the customer long term is just, you know, let's just say five years from now, 10 years from now, whenever, heaven forbid, if you ever do get water inside that sidewall or, or a leak, the Asdale itself doesn't rot. So in a Luon piece of, of a wall. Like the delamination that, that yeah, can happen exactly. in a coach when they get in it. Yeah, you go look at old, you know, pre-owned units and stuff like that. It was just kind of nature of the beast. And, you know, still is for a lot of products in, in the industry. You know, it just causes that separation. And then, you know, your coaches, you know, it's lighter weight. Lighter you know, it's weight. greener material. Absolutely. Um, the other thing we're doing that's a little bit, that's a, that is an advantage to the customer is we're using the urethane glue lines. So in other words, a lot of times what you'll have is you'll have contact adhesives, different type of adhesives that put all those layers together and compress them. Okay. What we're actually doing is, is we use a, it's a urethane product. Your outside layers will go through a, a, a nip roller, if you would. Then, and what you'll have is you'll have uh, urethane heated to uh, over 200 degrees. As it cools, it draws moisture. You have a very limited open time. But basically when it happens is that all happens, goes through a, a pinch roller, you make an outside skin out of that material. And you have a very solid, you have a very, very solid uh, outside piece. We'll do the same thing on the inside materials with your interior wall board and your interior frame. Same kind of process, but to put all those together, we use a product that's liquid urethane. So literally, if you come down our line, um, some people call it vacuum bond. Okay. okay. But the vacuum bond is really just a bag. It's not the material that you're using to, to make the glue line. So if you would, you actually have, um, the cool thing about urethane is, is especially when it's laid a liquid, it's, it's laid down and you actually spray water on the urethane. So the water is actually the catalyst that makes the glue get hard as opposed to past years and other competitors where they use a water-based adhesive okay. that it can come apart. Okay, so you have okay. a product that has um, a glue line, that the glue line is impervious to water. You have materials such as fiberglass and as Asdale that's impervious to water, you know, as well as an aluminum frame, foam, and all those different things. So. We really try to make sure that we are we're providing our products, our customers, a very long-term, safe, durable product. So not all vacuum bonding is created equal. No, not all. what no, you're saying. It's, it's what's in the bag that separates you absolutely. guys from. Absolutely. As far as the paint we have, um, we do have our own paint facility on, on, in, in-house. Uh, what you're going to find is that for the most part, when you're seeing these paint jobs, what we're doing is we'll go to a designer and we'll create a dye. Okay, And that dye becomes... 
know, basically the design, the graphic, if you would, you know, for what we use for, for paint schemes. And then what we try to do is limit to a couple different choices. You know, so we have this color in, in the red. You also have in an earth tone. Um, two choices were often to it. Has they come through our paint shop, you know, basically these are all double clear coated, okay, which basically the industry is not a double clear coat industry. Most of them are just a single. We just feel like it gives us just a little more protection. If you run your hands down in between the paint line, they're almost indiscernible. Um, make, right. Makes for a nice product, nice long-term product, uh, easier to care for. It is a big difference. It just, is. just visibly noticeable. And visibly then, of course, noticeable. like you said, five years from now, it's when it's, <laughs> it's a Absolutely. really big deal. A lot of them, Texas heat, if they're not stored, you know, properly, uh, you know, the, the heat can just go right through these clear coats in, Absolutely. you know, five to six years. Um, you know, just a, a huge difference in how the coaches hold up, yep. certainly. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I am truly learning a lot about the product. I mean, I thought I knew a lot about it, but I mean, getting an opportunity to sit here with you, I mean, it's, uh, this, is, this is great information. Uh, I'm more qualified, I guess, just to point out the obvious, you know, the, the things that people sure. have, you know, for, for years, feature, you know, about. absolutely. The feature benefits that are on this coach, though, I mean, truly unrivaled, you know, in the industry from the side view cameras, you know, the look and styling that we were talking about, but, you know, you're available with aluminum wheels. Um, leveling jacks uh, that has become more and more popular over the last right. few years uh, with our customers. Um, you know, the, the painted running boards, um, you know, how they actually roll back, you know, into your, into your sidewall. Different things that uh, you guys are doing just from a fit and finish standpoint and features. I mean, uh, the coach from the power awning, um, you know, you were the first to uh, really recognize the coaches needed exterior entertainment centers and I mean, you know, just so many different features that uh, that you've brought to the marketplace that have made the Concord, you know, every year just exceedingly more popular with our customers than the year before. And you really stay on top of, you know, just what the industry, you know, what the market is demanding, you know, we've what, got what a good people team. are looking for. You. Good, really good do. Good dealers and a good team. Really do. Well, if we move towards this side of the coach, a couple of features you're probably going to be pointing out. Basically, with the curved sidewall comes a curved entrance door, which again is something that some of our competitors with the curved wall don't offer your customer. As you open them up, we've got a power step that's part of the equipment level. A couple things here that really help the drivability of the coach and long-term use is you have Firestone Ride Right. And basically what you have is you have two airbags that are separate from each other. It helps you level the load, helps with the ride, helps with leaf spring fatigue long-term. Um, and actually one of the most important things about it is that you do have to make sure you keep air in the bags. If you let right. the bags go completely out, you can damage the bag. Rule of thumb is you want to keep somewhere around 80 pounds in the bag at any given time, um, make for a nice smooth ride. Um, That's a really nice benefit. Nice benefit. You don't see those on uh, very many products. No, absolutely even available. not. Not, absolutely not. It helps even change some of the geometry of how a motorhome tracks and how it goes down the road because its stance will have a lot to do with how it will handle. You know, how much weight is pushed towards the front, absolutely. You know, what, the weight, what the weight distribution is like. makes a big difference in handling. And you talk about the longevity of the coach at that point, too. Absolutely. The squeaks and the rattles, you know, when they're all brand new, you know, yeah, they're, everything in the box is still tight. But, you know, like we talked about, longevity of the paint job, you know, things that y'all go the extra mile and do like this, that you know provides a nicer four or five year old motorhome. Absolutely. You know, the cabinets are still tight. You know the box is still square. Um, you know the, the entire thing. The slide rooms are not as commonly you know get out of out of whack. Sure. Out of whack. Right. <laughs> absolutely. No, absolutely. Tons of tons of uh, customer benefit. To Starts that. with a good strong foundation. You know, one of the other features that we, we, we use often and, and feature often, of course, is outside entertainment center. Yes. Um, we're using a Furion brand television set. Uh, basically, this is a, a brand that's been developed by Forest River, our parent company. And uh, the biggest advantage to it is it's a steel case television. So it's tested to three times its weight for accidents, for rattling, for vibration. You know, it's actually made to be used in, a, in an outside application or in a motor application where it just shakes and rattles as opposed to gotcha. the, the TV that you can get at Best Buy. You know, that really <laughs> it's made for your living room, not, not for your motor home. Um, in the outside of this coach here, we have video hookups. So if your kids want to sit out here and watch video games or play games outside under the awning, they can do that. But I think it's probably the, 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 the most common use is, is that you're at the campground, the awning's down, you have a nice breeze. More than likely, you have a beverage, beverage in your hand of some choosing. You can watch the ball game. You can listen to music. You can use a DVD player and watch, and watch a movie. It just makes for a, a really nice package it really you know, to does. be out and enjoy yourself in, in the outdoors, which is really what RVing is all about. So you step around the back, you know, one of the 
key things about the Concorde for years from, you know, from a styling standpoint is y'all's rear caps have always been beautiful and really unique to the industry. Y'all have kept with the, this round radius, you know, that arched, more residential style window. It's been a signature piece of the Concorde for years. I mean, it just gives it a great and unique look from the exterior, but also from the inside as well. Absolutely. You know, the, the, the uh, Concorde has a rich tradition of styling and, and, and of, of clean lines. It's, it's a full fiberglass cap, which un, unlike a lot of our competition out there, they'll use a, a rear wall with rear bezels. Right. The cap gives you such a better, a better look, a clean look. It costs a little more, but we, we think it's worth it. One of the things we've tried to do with, with if you look in this area of the coach, is, uh, is kind of clean up from a use standpoint. We went to all LED lights in the Concorde, so your, your running lights, your clearance lights on the top, and of course we'll see on the inside of your interior lights are, are all LEDs. They're more visible, they're a safer light, their power demands are, are just a fraction of what a conventional uh, analog right. light is. Um, this makes for a much nicer product. Even from a dealer standpoint, I mean, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I mean, traditionally, we can't get brand new motorhomes even delivered without, you know, before you start having light bulb issues and stuff Absolutely. like that in these things, especially your running lamps. I mean, for years, you know how you know, cantankerous they are. A lot of times the bulb's fine. You get up there and it's you just the connection's it, not it. right. And all of a sudden they're back on. But I mean, a real inconvenience, you're talking about trying to access those running lights in particular. And um, like I said, you, you uh, noted that, you know, uh, more than a couple of years ago, knew that that was the way to go, well, and uh, it's been really popular with our Concord owners. Yeah. Well, the nice thing about LEDs is you, you, there's there's nothing that's guaranteed forever, but for the most part, an LED light will last a lifetime of, of a typical motorhome use. So it's not a bulb that has to be reused. It's again, it's a premium product that goes on the coach itself, but really from a standpoint of longevity, much better, much better. Uh, purchase for the customer. Yes, sir. Um, the other thing that we have back here, just prior to mention, we, we install a, a hitch of standard equipment on the Concorde. It's a hitch and wire. So you do have your standard bargeman seven-way plug. Um, the hitch is rated for 5,000 pounds. Okay. Um, more than adequate for towing, you know, any normal tow vehicle. Right. I mean, even up into, you know, some of your larger SUVs. Absolutely. It's still not going to be an issue. You know, I also like how uh, you recently went to the slam latches, you know, yeah. on the coach. That's a, that was a really yeah. nice uh, yeah, new you feature. Bet. Makes, makes it a lot easier to get in and out of, a little better access to, to storage and that type of thing. You know, and really, and even, even this, and one of the challenges for any B-plus type product is outside storage. Right. I think what you'll find the Concord has best in class. You know, we try to use all the little nooks and crannies we have. You know, here you've got a, a triple slide motorhome that still has enough space for four or five big lawn chairs and a cooler and the different types of things you would take camping. You're, right. you're not going to find that competitively in, in, in this size of a coach. Our 300 DS, you know, another one of our popular models, huge outside storage. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. You know, we just got our first ones of those in. That's going to be a great floor plan. It's kind of, seemed like it's kind of built from the 319 Leprechaun, Absolutely. which has been our most popular Leprechaun model here for you know, quite some time now, going on two years. Got the fireplace, that huge kitchen. Huge Man, is that going to be really popular? Absolutely. I mean, the, the 319 Leprechaun has been has been our best selling Leprechaun. Again, just like as it has for you, and it just just made just made perfect sense to to take that same layout and design and, and put it into a little narrower, a little shorter, a little right. more you, you know, a little easier to drive travelers type of coach than. And what a full blown Yeah, it doesn't need a full family, you know, not needing as many sleeping right. arrangements and stuff like that. And of course, the Concord offers the different styling, but you still get that big U shaped booth, you know, Absolutely. inside there. It's going to be a really popular coach for us, Mike. Absolutely. I mean, I, th I think, you know, it's common to go to a show or, or work a lot of promotion. And, you know, a lot of times the first people, the first question that people ask is, well, how many does this sleep? Well, typically when you're talking about a Concord, the answer to that is two. <laughs> <You know>. Right. <laughs> I mean, yes, the sofa's making the bed. Yes, the dinette makes the bed. But really, these are more geared towards mom and pa. If they want to take their grandkids with them or taking a, a couple, certainly we accommodate that. But it's really more focused on the enjoyment and the pleasure and, and of travel with, with, with a couple. Right. Um, one of the things that we try to do, you know, kind of segue into that, you know, from, from a convenience standpoint, is we try to tur clean, turn up our, clean up our termination area. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that you'll find here. What this is, this is a tube, it's a swing out tube. Basically what this is, this is your full-time sewer hose storage. So one time once you go in the coach, you can take your sewer hose, you can hook it up to the after termination valve itself, and then to handle the hose, all you have to do from that point forward is take the cap off, take the hose out, put it in the dump station, put it back in. 
as opposed to having to completely take it off the, of the termination valve, right. put, put it in the bumper, handle that hose. We're just trying to eliminate as much as we can, you know, having to handle that sewer hose. You're absolutely right. Now, and this is a, this is a great feature in, uh, in many of the uh, Coachman products and, uh, you know, been one of the most popular yeah, absolutely. Uh, features, you know, that sets you guys uh, apart. But I mean, golly, keeping the, the bays clean is, is a big deal. It's a big deal. And that's just a really nice convenience. Yep, absolutely. You know, from here is your, these are your outside, this is your utility panels. So what you have on the outside of the Concord is you have your outside shower, which frankly is, is great for once you have dumped the tanks or have to mess with that stuff, a place you can wash your hands. If you want to wash, if you want to wash off the kids' feet to get the sand off the feet, you can do that too. We're one of the few companies that actually do give you hot and cold water out here, which right. if you think about it, just makes sense, you know, to wash sure. your hands with. You have a port here to hook up for your cable. You have a port here to hook up for your uh, city water tank. So really your, your three fills here, one is your water tank full fill. Mm -hmm. The other one is your city water connection, so it takes the pressure from the hydrant. Right. And the third one is your black water, um, black tank flush. Right. You know, so if once you use once you're using the tanks, um, just yeah. makes the disposal and the cleanup so much easier. Absolutely, it's just proper maintenance and something that you know most coaches are going to cut the corner of that and your exterior shower. You're not going to find Absolutely. those features, and they are really really nice to have once you're a coach owner. Something you really don't think much about, you know, yep. until, <laughs> until until it's time to. Where you the rubber hits the road, exactly. You got it. So, you know, you also go to the extra expense to use, you know, the finest in generators, you know, using the Onans, uh, which uh, seems to be, you know, the, the most popular that's, that's become the and industry, dependable. Independ that's become the industry standard. You know, I mean, the, the Onan generator um, is a part of Cummings, very reliable, long history of, of, uh, of uh, service and available, you know, on the road service for almost all across the country. Um, when it comes to RVs, own, own it is the, the name is synonymous with generators in the RV industry. Right, and it certainly has enough power um, because, you know, in this 300 TS model, you're now offering it with the 15,000 BTU ACs. Absolutely. Uh, which we traditionally always put on our coaches here. Um, you know, it's a big coach, a lot of square footage, and that was a really nice uh, new feature that uh, you made available. And certainly the Onan generator's got plenty of power to run it. Absolutely. All right, the other thing really to talk about is, is on, on the triple slides, just as it is in the DS, on, on the door side, because we have an out, a full outside awning, right? Okay, you can't stack an awning on top of each other, so you do have protection there for that front slide room. On the back side are standard with slide awnings as well. So you have your slide out awnings. Again, that's standard equipment on every Coachman Class C that we build. The only real exception to that is, is when we have the big the, sl the door side slides where the other awning goes over top of it. Right, right. And of course, on this one, I mean, we're talking about I mean, that awning's got to be 20 feet. Yeah, 20 foot awnings. Yeah, is absolutely. It yeah, yeah I, that, that thing is monster. I mean, it's got more coverage than a lot of my 40-foot diesel pushers yeah. will actually have. We really we make a conscious effort to try to get as large of awnings on every coach that we that we build. I mean, it's one of those places that for the few dollars more that that, that extra length costs, it's not horrendous. But the few dollars more, the customer gets such a better experience with it, so much so much more use. What a, it absolutely makes a great campsite. Well, that's about all we have on this side. Well, you wanna. You want to take a look at the inside, and I'm sure a lot of people, that's what they're waiting Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Lots of features inside. All That'd right. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't take long once you step inside to know why it's been such a popular coach for so oh, many absolutely. years. I mean, just the, the living space inside this coach is just is unreal so, for a B-plus model motorhome. It's got a couple of really kind of neat features that kind of go along with it to make the Concorde special. I mean, r right now, we're really the only manufacturing industries offering the soil seats in the front, which it just it doubles your living area. I mean, you have a chance to sit Absolutely. here conversationally, you know, granted, you sit down kind of low, but your alternative is you have no place to sit. No, you know, so it's, it's really a, it's really a nice, nice touch. Um, interiors are, are plush, uh, very durable fabrics. Um, I don't know if you know it's not, but one of the features we offer here is a soft touch ceiling. It goes on the bottom of our laminated ceiling. The right. soft touch, it's a sound deadener. You know, it's a much more of a high-end look. And combined with that, yeah. we're using no LED lights. I mean, for the guy who's a dry camper, yeah. going to the ball game, going to the, to the races, doesn't have the chance to plug in or can't run a generator, and the life of these lights from a, from a battery use standpoint is three or four times what a regular light is. And, you know, here in Texas, I mean, you know, it's we're weeks away from, you know, 105, 106, exactly. just, you know, for 90 days straight. So when you're trying to cool a coach like this, too, I mean, those are their lamps. I mean, they're, they're so oh, hot. I mean, so literally, hot. they'll burn you. You know, and trying to keep a coach cool, 
um, you know, in the summertime, especially is really difficult, you know, until you went to the LEDs. Yep. You know, one of the things we're doing here as well, you know, the skylight's nice, but again, love this thing. Kind of in the same, in the same breath, we're trying to give you a chance to not just get the light out, but to help keep some of the heat out. Sure. Um, sure. But it kind of gives the best of both worlds that way. Now it adds so much height and just, just the feel of the coach is it completely changed. Feels open. It's kind of like this, the this motorhome feature. sunroof for like a better word, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, a couple of the other things here that we're doing, you know, we're, we're doing the fantastic vent, which is your high speed th three speed vent. Right. It moves a huge volume of air. You know, so when you have a cooler evening, that type of thing, where you don't necessarily have to run your air conditioner. Right. You know, it make, makes for a much nicer coach. Um, one of the most, one of the most popular features to me for years, and you know, I've always brought them in with it is your carpet set. Now, mm -hmm. I love how you've always done that. You know, traditionally, Coaches are just going to be carpet here and a little bit of linoleum up there in the front, but um, you know the solid surface floors have become just absolutely. Uh, everybody went to it. You went first. Now everybody's basically doing it. You know through your Class A gas units. Everything is going to obviously because you just don't have the wear and tear. Um, however, there's still that time. You know it's winter. You know and different things like that. And you want to be able to put down, you know, carpets where it's quieter inside, yep. it's warmer inside. You know at night. This just gives you the best of both worlds, yeah. you know, and the and you do it here as well as offer it in the bedroom. Yes, absolutely. Which is a really cool feature. I'm glad to see you uh, keep that option available to us. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. The uh, countertop areas we have in the Concord are kind of unique. Basically, in our kitchen areas, we're, we're using a form fiberglass. Now, the reason for the fiberglass is we're trying to give you a good Corian look, mm -hmm. okay, without right. the weight. Because weight's so important in a Class C. Absolutely. Where we don't have Corian, or we don't have the fiberglass, you know, we're going to thermofoil. And basically what this is, and we, and we do this on all of our products, thermofoil is done in-house. It, it's a um, protective film that goes over top of the MDF part that goes through a machine we have, in, and then basically, in essence, uh, melts the, the uh, film onto the okay. wood itself, seals up the bottom of it. The biggest advantage to it is, as opposed to like a self-edge, is, is there is no edge. So a lot of times what you'll have when you have your, your standard uh, high pressure laminates, you'll have either a piece of wood that goes around the outside or you'll have a flat piece right. and it catches crumbs. It's a common place for problems, especially sure. long term because the heat tends to degrade the, sure. the, uh, the, the pieces. Spills. And the spills. The, the spills get in between it, turns the wood loose, just very, I mean, can ruin the table. Can ruin the table. Very clean, very usable for the customer. Um, and actually it's very durable. And, you know, you talked about sleeping earlier. Um, you know, the Concords, you know, do offer a lot of additional sleeping areas yes, not commonly found. Uh, you know, you're going to the additional expense here with the Dream Dinette. Right. So not only makes a sleeper, but makes it very easy. You don't have to worry about scarring up the wall anymore. Um, you know, nice plush uh, leatherette, um, you know, cushions uh, actually to sleep on. The additional storage. Um, you know, you can see here the, the seat belts that you talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, four sets of seat belts in a booth. I Absolutely. mean, that, that is huge. Um, especially people, you know, if they're going to take family members yep. and stuff as well. I mean, this is where the kids are going to want to sit. You know, it's got to be safe. Um, it gives, um, you know, younger family even, um, you know, if they're going to, uh, if they've got a, a, you know, a baby, somebody's in a um, baby seat. child seat, you yeah. can have it forward or rear facing. Um, you know, uh, just throughout your Class C line, I mean, just so many things that y'all do that are family friendly, regardless of floor plan. Right. I mean, where you can take friends, you can take family and, you know, give them the, the sleeping and the seat belts needed to do it. The front entertainment center of the Concord is, is one of the pinnacles of the floor plan. You know, 32 inch flat screen TV, you know, very visible. Um, right. AM FM stereo, CD player, DVD player. Your speakers are recessed into the side of the cabins themselves. Mm -hmm. And this coach, and again, this is the majority of the way Motorhome Specialist stocks her coach, also has the uh, satellite dish, okay, the, the Automax satellite dish. Uh, we are providing a receiver with that now from Dish TV, where you can, uh, don't have to take your own receiver in and out of your own house. You can just use one that's in the motorhome and you can buy it for a month at a time, two months at a time, three months at a time, turn it on and off. They're really kind of tuned in for this RV customer. That's really it, nice. Yeah, makes, makes it nice for the customer. In the kitchen area, we have some, some higher end features that you're going to find in most Class C's. You know, really, if you start here at, at the, uh, the Bernelli vent, right. hood range vent, you know, it's not the big bulky vent you see in, the, in a traditional Class C. It's actually, it's actually important for Europe. A um, little lighter weight, takes a lot less space. It does. A little quieter in how it runs. We also go to a sealed burner range. 
you know, so as opposed to a typical RV or even sometimes your your home range, mm -hmm. you know, if you have a pot that spills over, you spill something into it, it's much easier to keep clean and clean up without having tear the whole front of it apart. Right. And then underneath it, standard with a convection microwave, mount the turntable, you know, so from as far as from a baking standpoint and a microwaving standpoint, you kind of have the best of both worlds in a very nice compact area. And you're still able to keep so much additional storage you'd otherwise lose. Absolutely. You know, real wood drawers on the side yep. with, with the glides, uh, bull bearing glides, you know, makes for a nice, nice smooth operation. Yeah, the full extension drawer glides are really popular. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, countertops, we're using a very deep stainless steel sink. We're a little bit pressed for space to have a really? double bowl, but it's a very deep, it's, it's actually a usable size sink for an RV, which is really kind of uncommon, along with the hand sprayer, a little more high end of a, of a, uh, a fixture there. And good, good overall storage for for a B plus motorhome. Really it does, you know, actually gives you a little bit of, of additional counter space you otherwise wouldn't have. Yep. Some it's of the other nice some of the other details we've done it's a little bit different, and some of the stuff you learn the hard way. Um, you know, with your air conditioning, of course, as you said, you're stocking this with fifteen thousand air, which is common for our southern customers, but also has what's called a cold air dump. So what you'll end up having is if you're out someplace and it's extremely hot and you haven't left, been able to leave the air conditioner on. You know, to bring the temperature down quickly, you can open the cold air dump. This will drop all the cold air in this area. And once you get it cooled down to an area where, it's, where you like it, you can close it off and it'll push it back into the vents across across the, the top of the coach. Uh, it just That's makes nice. for a much easier, even cool. One of the things we kind of learned the hard way is that in the past, we always had the thermostat in the hallway, but with the cold air dump, it would turn it off too fast. <laughs> so we had to move the, the thermostat away from where the actual output was, right. that way you had a real, more of a true feeling of how the air, the, the coach was cooling down instead of getting a false reading of having cold air just, you know, turn it off right away. Absolutely. Just those little, little details. And, you know, speaking of the, of the thermostat, you know, not only from an air conditioning standpoint, but what you guys do from a heating standpoint. Absolutely. And, you know, the additional money that you guys spend to actually run all the ducts, you know, into the, into the sidewalls uh, to where they're not getting you know, those little crud pipe. in them and yeah, it's yeah. not getting all that dirt and debris and you know, they're just so hard to, to uh, keep from getting broken. Yep. And then of course, you know, with the, uh, with the carpet set, you know, it makes that possible to where you sure. can still heat the coach without covering up your vents when you put in your carpet set. Um, you know, it's a, it's a really nice feature from a heating and cooling standpoint. Y'all go way above the industry norm. Well, and frankly, even on that same light, if, when you get the, the 15,000 air conditioner, that also comes standard with the heat pump. You know, so for those full evenings where you don't necessarily want to start the furnace, you know, you just want to take the edge off a little chill of the air a little bit. You just flip the switch, turn it on, turn the heat pump on. That'll help bring down the, the, the you know, warm up the coach easily without even having to start the furnace. Definitely. So, and you know, the parts you can't see, you know, underneath, underneath here, oh, your even cool, um, you know, the, the coachman's exclusive even cool air conditioning system. Absolutely. If you had x ray vision, what you'll, what you'd find is you've got a series of ducts that run inside for the air conditioner. So every air, as it comes apart, they don't blow in a straight line. They, they come off both both sides of the air conditioner. So what you have here is instead of just having a straight duct, you have a, a, a Amoco foam um, duct work that actually has a 45 degree angle. And so what it does, it doesn't create back pressure. It helps for a more even flow of, of, of air. Um, just to kind of give you a number, you know, a 13.5 uh, air conditioner puts out 330 CFMs, you know, cubic feet per minute. We did some testing competitively at the low end of the scale, one of our customers came out at 180 CFMs with their ducted system. Wow. But it's, it's, very com it's very common for them to take nothing more than just take the foam track that is actually the roof itself, right. the roof board, and that make that the duct. We're taking the next step to put a true household type duct in it. It, it resists mildew, makes for much better airflow. This system will, on a 13.5 air will still put out, only lose 15 CFMs. It's a 315 CFM output. Wow. So it, it's really a, a, a very much a, a advantage, one of those hidden advantages to the customer that they don't really know until after they have the coach. Really is. No, that's, that's impressive, Mike. That's really impressive. Then, of course, you know, little things that y'all are doing here. You know, you've got a good size refrigerator, but I, I love how you're now doing this. This, uh, you know, the uh, yeah, pencil that, glazing and yeah, just trying to give, a, give it a little more, a little more pizzazz. You know, we're using the Dometic refrigerator, um, and actually, it's kind of a neat for the customer because in the old style refrigerators and some of the competitive, they actually have a, a manual thermostat where this is all preset. So typically, what will happen is that when you have this, this this type of refrigerator, you'll you'll set it, it'll pick up its own gain and loss. So in other words, if it's extremely hot, it automatically will try to bring up the uh, the temperature to, to keep up. If it's extremely cold 
or have a big change, how do I say this right? T typically what happens is, is you come into a place like this, it's 110 degrees, and you notice your ice cream is melting. <laughs> so the, the typical thing is you turn right. the thermostat all the way up. Right. Well, that's all fine and well until you get up in the next morning and it's a frozen black of ice. You can't, you can't use any of it. So what this does for you, it, it, it is a, a preset thermostat. It, it does its own regulating itself. It kind of takes the worry out of trying to figure out you know, what your milk's going to be like in the morning. That's a really nice benefit. Yeah, nice benefit. I didn't realize that they had that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, this is something, too, that you've been doing for a lot of years, you know, actually putting the glass door shower in. Um, you know, that's a that's a really nice feature. It's a much larger shower, and it's really clean, and I like how yours works. Instead of it being a traditional door that pops out, you know, you right. get that. The water is always in the floor. You know, this keeps the, the water inside, you know, the tub. Um, you know, it's just a... A little skyline really the top well so for, done. For, for taller customers, it gives you a little extra height as well as, as, as a, it's a translucent you know, vent, so you get a little more light in the coach without... Uh, that is nice. And I noticed you went to an LED light in there as well. Yeah, so it's LED throughout. LEDs throughout. Wow. Really nice. Really nice. In the hallway is your, is your uh, monitor panel, utility panel. It gives you some uh, easy access to functions. This is your, your battery levels, your holding tank levels for your gray and your black tank. You've got your generator start area here and your hour meter. Um, so you have easy control from inside as well. There's, there's actually a start switch on the outside of the physically on the generator itself. Okay. Your slide room controls are here. Your uh, water pump switch is here. And one of the more popular features, okay, you have your electric hot water heater pump, but you also have your uh, heated tank, your, your tank pads, which is part of the, of the camping cozy package with with the Concord. Right, and of course this is great for you know if you're going to take winter trips. Sure. You know you don't. Yeah, you're not. You know you can actually. This is more of an all seasons coach. And then uh, as you mentioned before, the electric water heater. I mean, along with the fifteen thousand AC with the heat pump now. I mean, you can heat the water and heat the coach without having to use your LP gas. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's very very rare. Very to, rare. to find in the industry, it really is. You know, the 300 TS got a big, big side bath. Yep. Even the bulb lights above the sink now are LED. Yes, sir. That is great. Of course, your fan, just, you know, plenty of storage, you know, inside there. Just a really well laid out floor plan. I think one of the things, Don, you can point out from there, too, is, is if you pull that rear door open, you know, if you take the little latch off here, the little elastic yeah. latch, okay, we have a solid door. You know, one of the things we, yeah. we do in the Concord trade on all of our products is to, not to have um, drapes. You know, solid door right. gives you more privacy. And then from a dressing standpoint and a privacy standpoint, the store is made to latch across at the top. So oh, you have yeah. you have the, the privacy of the hallway here, which opens up your bath area, as well as privacy from if you have guests going back and forth, you can close off that door and they can get to the restroom without interrupting you. No, that's really nice. It really um I, I didn't realize uh I didn't realize that, that that folded back. So you actually have two separate yeah. privacy doors. Yeah, yeah, and it just opens up the complete bathroom. Yeah, absolutely. Back here all the way across. Yep. Yep. I mean, tons of 110 plugs, you know, like seat belts, you know, something that you right. always pay attention to. I mean, you look at there in the in the kitchen. I mean, you've got two right beside it. Right. I mean, you'll look at a lot of floor plans that won't have any. Right. And you've got two there. I mean, just throughout the coach, you're going to find 110 plugs, um, you know, a big, big bedroom, you know, in the in this unit. When, when you come into the bedroom area, you know, one of the features we're offering you is, is a deluxe mattress. It is a an inner spring sort of mattress, you know, just like you buy at the mattress store, your yeah. local furniture store. Uh, only the difference is, of course, it's made to fit an RV with the rounded corners, uh, which sounds like a small thing, but when you're trying to walk around it from a practical standpoint, oh, just makes, having a round versus a square corner makes a big difference in your comfort. It really does. It makes a big difference in your comfort. You know, it makes, you know, just speaking of that, I mean, you know, it's easy to get to your, to your closets, you know, which 300TS is going to have both his and her closets, three big, big drawers. drawers. Uh, and it's smart the way that you laid this out too. You know, you see so many of them when they bring the slide room in, they'll block in their closet doors. They, you know, they'll they'll do things to where they they lose that access. You know, right. you've given them this exterior storage, you know, down below from from the outside, and then still make it you know accessible to get in their closets. They just pull over to gas station, want to grab a jacket. <laughs> a lot of coaches, you got to put the slide rooms out, you know, before you can get your coat out of the closet. Absolutely. And you've got the day-night shades that are part of the Concord package. So basically, nice. you have a light soldering and then a light blocking shade. Um, yeah, that's nice. Just an actual you know, true privacy, true privacy shade. So of course, you know you've got the additional overhead storage up here. 
I um, also like how you added these decorative slide out room fascias now, you know, just added a lot of, uh, a, a lot of look. Yeah, really did. And then one of my favorite features if <laughs> you've been doing forever is the TV being actually mounted high and in the center of the sure. bedroom where it's easily viewed. I, I don't understand why so many floor plans, the TV's always off to the left or to the right. They'll put it down too low. But yeah, it's a good size TV. It's actual LED. And like I said, just the placement in the room is perfect. Good. Great. Why don't we take a quick look at the cab area and that'll just about wrap us up. Well, some of the features in the cab, I don't know if you notice stepping in, nice wide running board, easy to get in and out of the coach itself. Okay. Right. We give, we give the customers a few other features here. Um, on the, on the left here, we have th the heated mirrors, uh, left and right hand remotes. If you take a look at the dashboard itself, we've got a, a, your stereo AM FM CD player, as well as a backup camera. It's all touch screen. All touch screen, uh, emergency start switch. So basically if you're in a situation where you have uh, killed a battery, it gives you the opportunity to, to dual off of the twin batteries in the back, as well as the coach battery in order to start the coach or to move a slide room or you know those types of functions that, that take okay. place in a motorhome. And really it's just a nice aesthetically pleasing dashboard. We add yeah. a little bit of a wood grain to it. Um, the Ford chassis itself, I mean the E45 chassis is, is uh, equipped with the uh, 6.8 liter Triton V10. Right. Um, it has a five speed transmission. Uh, so basically you have, you have a, one more, you know, another two overdrives in essence is what it ends up being. You have a tow mode that's part of this. So if you're towing your car or towing a trailer, it helps change the way the transmission shifts. So to add some longevity, you know, to uh, and to the transmission itself for cooling, uh, ergonomically laid out chassis, cruise, Absolutely. tilt, all the stuff you get with the regular with an upgraded chassis. Power windows, power locks. This is an upgraded cab. Yep. Um, a lot of uh, uh, 12 volt outlets in this. Yes. You know, you've got three over here, which is really really important you know obviously people's cell phones and everything else that they're running nowadays it's great to have all the extra 12 volt uh, plug-ins um, you'll place here for your change a little place for storage you know it's just uh, it's just a nice nice usable cab and then uh, you know back to what you were doing up there in the front you know you actually come in here and you're giving them you know the actual carpet mat yep. up here in the front instead of it being the traditional just the black rubber mat that everybody else has you know they can take it out this is easy to clean if they don't want to use it, you know, they're going someplace where they know it's going to be, you know, muddy Sandier feet and this, that, the other, take them out. Absolutely. You know, uh, but, uh, you know, it just gives you a, a whole nother look and, and uh, it's just very well done. Yep. Really. Yep. Good and, team. And yep. this, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the other That's feature, the, the, the way this is equipped, this is equipped with uh, hydraulic jacks. And we use a company called Bigfoot as our supplier for, this, for the jack. Um, and what it is, they have, they are four separate jacks with separate motors, separate pumps. So unlike a lot of, uh, of uh, other competitors' products, they'll have a, a, a series of lines and hydraulic fluid lines and uh, a single pump that will run their slide rooms as well as, as, well as the jacks themselves. With, okay. with the Bigfoot jack, they're all independent. So each jack has its own reservoir, it has its own jack, um, has its own motor, if you would. And one of the reasons we've done it this way with the with the long cord, if you would, is you're actually in a situation where you don't have to be in the coach to level the coach. So now the idea behind putting uh, you know putting this on the on the deal is yeah, basically what it is is instead of having it mounted permanently inside the coach someplace where right. you, you really can't see what's going on, this gives you opportunity to be outside the coach if you really want to inspect it, watch the jacks come up or down. You know, so it, right. it really is a situation you can stand here, you can look at what's happening around you, see what kind of conditions you're in, whether than being inside a coach, not able to see what's happening around you. So it just makes it That's this a great more a, idea. This is more of a common sense way to, to, to do a jack installation. It really is. That's a great idea. Well, Mike, truly, you've outdone yourself again. You really have. I mean, the, the Concord looks fantastic this year. So and you're never you're never satisfied. You're always working. No. Nope. But uh, truly, uh, all of us here, you know, obviously our family and everybody at Motorhome Specialists really appreciate you taking the time to you not only come pleasure. out, but Good certainly customer. spend some time with all of our customers, all of our future mutual customers. Absolutely. And I, I know they really enjoyed it. I did it. Heck, I learned a lot. Oh, good. So. Well, thank you so much. So folks, if you have any additional questions, of course, about the Coachman Concord or any of the products that we sell here at Motorhome Specialists, please feel free to contact us anytime at 1-800-335-6054, or you can visit us anytime online at mhsrv.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we all look forward to hearing from you soon.
But before you buy a new Concorde, or any other new motorhome for that matter, be sure to check the MSRP, or the manufacturer suggested retail price. Unfortunately, other dealers prefer playing numbers games and price their new units at the full manufacturer suggested retail price. Then they discount the MSRP a meager 10 to 15% or less, and many unsuspecting RV buyers end up paying too much for their new motorhome. They also use the heavily inflated price of the MSRP to overallow on trade-ins and trick other RV owners into thinking that they are getting more for their trade-in than they really are. Some dealers even alter the manufacturer's window stickers to reflect a higher price or remove the window sticker altogether and create their own version of retail pricing, even though this is against United States federal law. Without knowing the true manufacturer's suggested price, you cannot be sure of the true percentage discount you are receiving from the dealership. Always demand a copy of the MSRP and only do business with dealers who prominently display not only the MSRP, but an upfront percentage discounted sale price without having to ask for it. If you have any doubt about the MSRP, call the manufacturer. If you have any doubt about your sale price, call Motorhome Specialist. Motorhome Specialist is not only the number one volume selling motorhome dealer in the world, but also the number one Coachman Class C dealer in the world, offering the most diverse selection of new and used motorhomes you'll find anywhere, with prices ranging from about $10,000 to over $2 million, and every price point in between. At Motorhome Specialist, you'll never find our new motorhomes priced at MSRP. Instead, you'll find an upfront discounted sale price that you can easily compare to other products and dealerships across the country. No matter if you're veteran RVers or first time buyers just looking for quality information and a dealership to treat you fairly, Motorhome Specialist upfront pricing will take the games, gimmicks, and anxiety about paying too much out of the sales process. Because at Motorhome Specialist, we believe everyone deserves the same low price. It is this business principle that has allowed Motorhome Specialist to grow from being a small pre-owned only dealership in 1999 to an industry leader selling approximately 40% of all new motorhomes sold in the state of Texas. We offer over 60 different models of new motorhomes from 10 of the most well-known manufacturers in the industry. Each are committed to producing quality products and offer something distinctly different in style and function. And Coachman RV is, of course, no exception. Coachman RV's origins date all the way back to 1964. Recently, they became part of Forest River and the world-famous Berkshire Hathaway Group. Berkshire Hathaway's current list of companies includes some of the most well-known in the world. Forest River has over 60 plants nationwide manufacturing more than 80 different makes of trailers, fifth wheels, boats, cargo trailers, manufactured and modular homes, commercial vehicles, shuttle buses, and of course, luxury Class C, Class A gas, and diesel pusher motorhomes. And when you purchase any new Coachman RV from Motorhome Specialist, you will not only enjoy superior service, selection, and pricing, but also receive a free one-year membership to the Coachman Owners Association. This added value not only provides a host of travel services and campground discounts, but also 24-7 online service that locates needed services while offering savings at more than 180,000 merchants across the country. So call 1-800-335-6054 or visit MHSRV.com for our upfront and everyday low sale price that has made us the number one volume selling dealership in the world. And take the family in style on your next big RV adventure in a Coachman Concord from Motorhome Specialist. Why pay more? Why settle for less? If you think that this is the right unit for you and your family, please contact a representative from Motorhome Specialist. We have easy financing with up to 20-year terms available and year-round sale prices on our entire inventory. 
We sell RVs to people literally all over the world. If you're flying in, we will pick you up at the airport and bring you to your new RV. Each new RV goes through a rigorous service checklist twice before your arrival. Once here, you will be greeted by a service tech and shown how everything works and that everything is working properly on your new unit. You will also have an RV starter kit that includes a new water hose, sewer hose, chemicals, and much more. Thanks for watching our video. We all look forward to hearing from you soon.